Welcome to another episode of Rare Garage. Today we're going to be doing E60, E62, E63, M5, and M6 rear brake pads. Uh, we are leaving the rotors because this car has uh, about 32,000 miles and uh, the rotors are still good. So we're going to just do a pad swap. Uh, this is going to be a walkthrough of how to swap pads. Uh, we got some uh, factory BMW pads here. We're using one of each for each side. We got the uh, flat one and the one with the clip. The one with the clip goes on the back, obviously. There's a couple little plastic caps that uh, cover the. Let me flip my screen around so I can see what I'm doing here. Uh, some plastic caps that cover the Allen bolts. There's a couple little Allen screws back here. I don't know if you can see this, let me turn this Allen key. Um, all you gotta do is remove these two caps and hit it with a seven millimeter Allen key. And once you do that, take the spring off the front. So how I like to take the spring off the front is kind of kick it one way, and I come in through another hole on the side. I don't know if you guys can see that. Come in right through the center kick it back and then I take this guy and I just pry it up towards the top. There's the spring. It comes off. You can see it. Putting it back on is really similar. Push the bottom side down, push it up in there. So here we're gonna do this again. You guys can see. Take it like this. Oops. Like this. Tip it back. So that, that corner is facing outward. Top corner, the side that it goes in on. Bam, look at that. Super easy. Remove the clip. I already uh, loosened the, uh, the bolts in the back here. Now our caliper comes off. Super easy. This one's held in with some clips. It's actually really uh, useful to just leave that clipped in there so you can press the caliper. Here's the other pad. Got my uh, C clamp here. Super easy to use. Just gonna take it. Make sure your uh, pad's clamped in there. I'm gonna put this over the top of it. A little tricky to uh, do on this car because the brake line's kind of short. Uh, this same method works for any car, basically. Um, you can see I'm slowly twisting it. And uh, it might be hard to see from that angle, but the caliper is compressing. These pads were really close to being done. Um, had we drove really any longer, we probably would have uh, ran metal to metal and ruined these rotors. So that's why we're doing it. We're trying to save the rotors because these rotors are very expensive. Um, if you let it get down to metal and metal, metal to metal, which you can see it's really close, uh, we would have ruined these rotors. So there you go. There's your uh, caliper. See, there's a pretty good, there we go. That's the thing that you can see, it's all the way compressed. Now we're gonna take our new pads. I'm gonna do the back one first. Clips in there. And uh, those new clips are pretty tight, so they are gonna be a little hard to get on. Set our other pad down in here like that. And uh, set the sky over the top of it. Really, really easy, guys. And, uh, Make sure your bolts too are pulled out in the back enough or they won't sit flush. So once it sits flush, take our Allen key, you're gonna screw those bolts back in back here. Um, I'm using a standard Allen key because that's just what I have in a seven millimeter right now. But uh, I would prefer to use something like this. It's just I'm missing that right now. So. I can't find my seven mil. So it is what it is. We'll do it by hand. No biggie. Screw these guys in. It's really just super easy. There's nothing, you know, different about doing on these M cars versus uh, your Toyota Corolla or whatever you got at home. Now here's the spring. This is the part that uh, most people probably are worried about. So I go in on one side. Use the spring to pull it down. 
on the other side. And then uh, you can just force it in with your hand, honestly. It's so easy. Make sure it's seated well. It rocks and doesn't kind of come out of there. Everything's good. Now uh, we're just going to go ahead and tighten these seven millimeters on the back. You see this guy? Bam! You know how these, uh, these BMWs don't have studs? Sometimes uh, you can be a bitch to get your wheels on. The easiest thing to do is to uh, line up one, one threading. One. Take a second one. And slowly put it up in there. I got two on. Spine lock. It's also a seventeen. Cars on the ground, brakes are done. Now let's move on to the other side. There's a little pad right here in the back. It's the only spot you really want to lift from on BMWs. All we need for this job is uh, two screwdrivers, a seat clamp, seven millimeter Allen, uh, an impact or a breaker bar, something to get the wheel off. Um, we're using an impact today. 17 millimeter for the wheels and our wheel lug lock. Down here on the bottom is a plastic. Cap. You just use your fingernails and grab it. Pull it off. Same thing on the top. Get that off. Take your spring. Get your spring off. Sometimes they just don't want to come off. Break it loose. It really shouldn't be that tight. These are just your slider pins, not your uh, caliper mountain bracket bolts. Spin these off of there. You can see they just pull out if you really want to. Like that. A little thread on it. Allen head on the other side. Just leave them in there just a little bit. Get the slower one. Really though, really, really, really easy job, guys. Make sure uh, your parking brake's off. I just had mine on, that's why it wasn't coming off. You guys are a little more stuck on this side, I guess. So, uh, use a screwdriver if it just doesn't want to come off. Sometimes they don't, it's the way they are. This, uh, this side is the side with the sensor, so uh, be careful about that sensor. Uh, we'll show you how to deal with that in a second. You guys see it here? Take our C-clamp, do what we did earlier. C-clamp, see me, pushing this thing in. There we go. Slowly coming in. Our, uh, our sensor is reusable, and that's, uh, you know, 20 or 30 bucks, that's 20 or 30 bucks you don't have to spend now. There's our other pad. I'm going to show you guys the uh, sensor just hanging here. You see that? Just clips right into the top of the pad, which I'll show you right now. 
Here's our pads. Uh, the one without the clip goes on the outside, just like before. Now, uh, here's the difference. This guy's got a little clippy spot up here. That's where the sensor clips into. Super easy. So we're gonna take our caliper. We're actually gonna install our pad first, and then we're gonna clip the sensor in. Here it is, it's clipped in, you heard it. Now we push the sensor out the top. There's the sensor, and uh, it goes right. Man, let me... it goes right in there and clips on the pad right through the hole. Super, super easy, guys. And then same thing as before. Throw your caliper on. Your spring on, actually, if you want to hold this thing. We'll actually. Hold it in place while you install the, uh, the bolts. There it is. Take your slider pins. Um, and it is good to re grease these. Um, I am not going to do it right now because I can feel they're still sliding pretty good. We're just doing a pad change. And, uh, yeah. Go ahead and then uh, tighten them up now that you got it. Get them tight. Once, uh, once they're tight, we're gonna take our little plastic covers. And we're gonna cover them up. Put them on. Our other plastic cover. Our second one. Put it on the bottom. Our sensor. Right here. You can see it's kind of green. I'm trying to. Uh, to light it and pull it. You guys can see I literally just wiggle it and it just came out, okay? And you can see in there, it literally just locates right on this little shoehorn right here. Just locates right on the shoehorn and uh, take it, just push it in. Well, your cover, see that? Route it through there, through the nipple cover, to keep it close. And then uh, it routes up onto the frame, or onto the uh, kind of upper control arm, right there. It's right here. And it goes up and uh, plugs in up here into this box, which open this box up. And there they are, the connectors are in there. Keep that shut though, uh, so nothing gets in there. Today we aren't doing a sensor change because uh, the light did not come on. We uh, changed the pads before the light came on, which is what you want to do. At least in my opinion, because if uh, the light's on, you've basically ruined your rotor. There it is. Check that they're tight. Oh, get your lock back where it goes in here. Now we're done. Now let's take the car for a test drive. Who wants to go for a test drive? Test these uh, new brake pads out to see how uh, how they feel. Oh yeah, already I can just feel the uh, 
Brakes are way better than before. Stops way better. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. We're gonna go for a quick little cruise in the M6, and um, see you guys on the next one. Make sure to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe because there's gonna be a lot, a lot more of this type of stuff happening and going on. So uh, thank you for watching. Drives way better now. I'm happy with her. So uh, that's it. That's the end of the video, guys.